everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to cook a Haskap fruit mouse. Now a mouse is an Eastern European fruit stew and it's a beautiful dessert uh, throughout the fall and the winter, any of the cold months. It's lovely. And tonight we're doing a, quite a combination. I have some fruits that I would like to use up. I have some pear and some apple, but I've also got some lovely dried fruits. I've got some cranberries and raisins, and I've got hascap berries, dried hascap berries. And that's what they look like. They look like little raisins, but they're not. They are um, beautiful little blue frosty berries that look like blueberries, but they're longer and a little bit irregular shape. And inside has this gorgeous crimson flesh. Now, this is the juice of it. We're gonna use the juice tonight from Hascapa. You can check them out online at hascapa.com, as well as the beautiful uh, dried berries, and that's what the box looks like. And these guys are gonna be great. So I also have some kiwi and, you know, some other little spicy things we're gonna show you. So I'm using these um, stoneware clay ramekins. These are unreal. They really hold in the flavor. They do a beautiful job cooking things, and they're a lovely presentation. Presentation. Very authentic, I would say. So that's what we're gonna do. This is a really quick dessert to prepare as long as you have everything um, cut up and you, you know, you've got some dried fruits and things in your pantry, you're good to go. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of the spice. I have a couple cardamom pods and I'm gonna put two in each one. I have two whole cloves, one in each of those ramekins. I have some um, beautiful candied ginger slices and I'm going to just chop them up into little tiny bits and that's going to go into one into each one of the ramekins. It's going to spice it up, give it a little bit of flavor, but it's also going to be a nice little texture as well. And it goes. We do a lot of these little fruit stews. Um, they, we call them mouse and it's spelled M-O-O-S. It's not mouse like the animal, it's, it's just called mouse, that's what it is. So that's what we traditionally have since I was little, this is what we eat. <laughs> I have some candied orange peel slivers that I've done myself, make sure you check out that show. Really easy to do, super tasty, and I've been using it for all kinds of recipes, I just have them on hand. So I'm gonna put three of them in each one, and I'm gonna cut it into little bits. This is such a nice surprise in your fruit stew. You're gonna see, it's just lovely little texture and such a flavor that bursts forth from it. Beautiful. So I'm gonna put three in each one. This is um, a very holiday style dish. You could uh, whip this together if someone popped in on you accidentally. And you didn't expect them to come over and you're entertaining. Um, this is a really easy and inexpensive kind of way to uh, give them a nice dessert. All right. So next, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of dried cranberries to each one of these. The same goes for the raisins, about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half even. You can just eyeball these. I'm gonna put maybe a tablespoon of the ha dried hascap berries in to each one. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I have one kiwi, so half in each one. I had two large apples that I've just peeled, cored, and cut into bite-sized chunks. Split those up. I had two large pears. Split those up too. So while things are nice and cool, I'm gonna add some um, cornstarch to each one. This is gonna thicken it up a little bit, thicken up the liquid. I'm gonna add about a half a tablespoon to each one of these, I would say. We're gonna add some sugar. I would say at least a tablespoon's worth. We're gonna to have to taste test this at the end to make sure that we're on point with the sweetness and the flavors. Okay, so I'm just gonna add one tablespoon for now. I don't wanna to add too much because you can't take it away. If I need to add some more, it's okay to do it at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna use a spoon and I'm just gonna stir these things up to make sure that that cornstarch is going to be distributed throughout the fruit. Doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to kind of get mixed in there a little bit. Okay, I'm using one cup's worth of Haskap juice today. So half a cup will go into each container, roughly. It's gonna give a gorgeous color, as well as a beautiful flavor. This stuff is so delicious. It's kind of like the cross between blueberries, raspberries, elderberries, cranberries. It's just really, really tasty. I can't explain it other than to tell you, you have to try it for yourself. 
Okay, so we're gonna need water to finish um, filling this up. I'm gonna try and bring that liquid up to um, the top of the fruit. So easy so far. I'm gonna add a dollop of butter to each one because butter makes everything better. It's gonna make it a little bit more rich, flavorful. All right, so here's what we have going on so far. A little bit of butter, the fruit, the juice and the dried fruit, a little bit of sugar, some spices. If you wanted to add some cinnamon to this, you can. You can add a whole bunch of different spices to it. Cloves, you can add cinnamon, ginger, you can add allspice if you want to, whatever you like. All right, onto a cookie sheet for ease of use. Lids on, and they're gonna go into the oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna soften up the apples and the pears and make sure that everything kind of gets a chance to sit there and mingle. Okay, it's gonna soak up that Haskap juice and the, the dried fruits are gonna plump up and soak in that beautiful flavor. Awesome. So All right, into the oven, they're gonna go for 20 minutes. I'm gonna stir them at the 10 minute mark just to check everything out and maybe do a quick taste test for sweetness. All right, so you'll see me in about 10 minutes. So let's check these little ramekins. Be very careful because these are super hot. So I'm gonna give them a good stir, make sure that the butter and everything is mixed through. They smell unreal. They smell so good. Wow. I'm going to also mix through the dried fruit with the um, apple and the pears on the top that I put in last. Fantastic. Oh, this is going to be good. The color is all pinky from the um, Haskap juice. And I'm going to do a really quick taste test of the liquid to make sure that it's sweet enough. The cornstarch has started to thicken this up a little bit. Also, the sugar should be dissolved in there. Oh, that's tasty. I am gonna add a little bit more sugar. Now you could use brown sugar or this white sugar. I'm gonna add another tablespoon to each. And I'm gonna stir that through. And we'll finish cooking this off. The apples and the pears are look like they're nearly um, done. Let me just try one of them to see how tender they are. A couple more minutes and we're on our way. So that's good. All right, lids back on. Back into the oven for another 10 minutes. And we'll see you then. All right, these should be done. They smell heavenly. Oh, look at that. Everything's plumped up and beautiful. Oh boy, what a treat that's gonna be. Stir that around a little bit. You got those hascaps, they floated to the top. They're all nice and plump now. The cornstarch oh. has done a beautiful job thickening these guys up. And let me show you one of these. Oh, it looks heavenly. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can really see in there. That's tough. Oh, beautiful. Well, I'm gonna keep one covered and I'm gonna try mine. So let me try this for you. I've let it cool off just a couple minutes because it is steamy. Oh, I can smell the cloves. It's fruity. Oh, it smells I've so good. I've got a little bit of everything here. I've got some apple, I've got some pear. Ooh, some hascap berries. That beautiful juice has made everything all pinky and gorgeous. Mm. As it cools, it thickens a little bit too. Mmm, so hot. Mm. Mm. Really delicious. A beautiful melange of, of beautiful fruit. Mm. The dried fruit have plumped up just like they're fresh. Fantastic. The Haskat berries dot the reddish colored fruit now uh, with those nice black uh, specks. Fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Lovely flavor. Anytime I use Haskap in a recipe, every single time, I'm surprised at how much I really love it. Every time I've tried it, it's like a new surprising thing again, how, how awesome they are. Mm. You can use it not just for sweet things, but for savory things as well. I've done a glazed turkey, I've done uh, stuffed pork chops, I've done stuffings for my poultry, I've done salads and, and all kinds of desserts and things like that, drinks. 
because it's so versatile, so delicious, and it, if you haven't tried it, you really have to. Oh, that's good. So when the weather outside is frightful, you can have a beautiful hearty fruit stew for dessert. It'll just warm you right up. Mmm. Again, you can mix and match the flavors. I just got a little piece of the candied orange peel. Awesome. Man. Wait till you get a piece of the ginger. So I good. even have a little bit of the kiwi here. Super, super good. What a beautiful dessert. Pretty inexpensive, as well as pretty fast to make. Uh, it only takes 20 minutes in the oven, and it took you no time to really assemble it. Um, provided you have some fruit. Make sure you always have some dried fruit hanging around like these dried Hascat berries. They're really, really handy to have. And the juice, you never know what you could possibly use it for. Mm. Well, I'm gonna finish that up and I'm gonna serve mom. She's gonna love it. So make this. sure you get online and check out Hascapa.com. They have the juice and the berries and they have jam and relish and chutney and all kinds of products. Really outstanding, excellent, excellent products. So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook a Hascap fruit mouse. <laughs> and I hope that you try it too, all right? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E, the capital E, like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.